Hey guys, welcome back. So we're back out at uh, Young's Long Shot, the long range, thousand yard range. And today we've brought out a whole bunch of long range hardware. And to start off, what I want to show you is my new LWRC Reaper 308. It also is wearing the new Leupold Mark VI. It's a uh, 3x18 power scope. It's the new Night Force competitor from Leupold. Very interesting scope. Sitting next to it, you've seen this before. It is the Desert Tactical Covert SRS. This is uh, chambered for 308 at the moment, but we also have a 338 barrel that we've brought out. It has a kale scope on it. We may or may not get around to shooting it as a 338 this afternoon. Don't know just yet. We have quite a bit of stuff to, to shoot this afternoon. Next up is a Saco TRG. This bad boy, not very heavy, probably around eight and a half, nine pounds, is a 338 Lapua. And on that, we have a Leupold M5. Uh, really looking forward to trying this thing out in a very, very you know, high-end rifle, interesting. But speaking of lightweight, we've taken that to an extreme, and sitting next to the TRG is a Christensen Arms. This is also a 338 Lapua, and this thing is super lightweight, has a carbon fiber barrel on it, and a lightweight stock, so this thing probably tips the scales around seven and a half pounds. For a 338 Lapua, that's a cannon, and it's gonna be very interesting to shoot. I don't know what to expect, to be quite honest with you. And it's wearing a night force. It has a 5 to 25 power sight on it. Last but not least, we have a Savage. And this one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It's wearing an NXS sight. So we're going to do a little bit of shooting this afternoon, bring you guys along as we do some testing and evaluation of these different products. Hopefully we can get to all the guns. There's no promise that we will. There's a lot of stuff to shoot here in an afternoon. But anyway, let's get started. Since this was my first trip to the range with my new LWRC Reaper, I wanted to make sure the bore was clean before I started shooting. I like to use Dewey cleaning products, especially their polymer coated cleaning rods. I scrubbed the barrel out with a bore brush, then ran a few solvent soaked patches down the bore. I finished up with a couple of dry patches. A lot of people will tell you it's necessary to properly break in a barrel to achieve the best possible accuracy. Over the years I've found this to be a myth and it's not something that I practice. I chatted with Adam Peeney at LWRC about this topic and he confirmed my long held beliefs that breaking in barrels is a pointless endeavor. Adam is an experienced long range competitor and he tells me he never follows a break in routine on his new barrels even on his high dollar custom rifles. Since this was my first trip to the range with the Reaper and the Leupold Mark VI scope I needed to get the rifle sighted in. For this task I use a non match ammo like Wolf Gold to get the gun on paper at 25 yards. Once I have the rifle on paper I move over to the 100 yard line and fine tune my zero. With the Reaper, I decided to use a LaRue LT112 quick detach scope base that has 20 MOA of elevation built into it. Since the rifle is intended for long range work, the final zero was done at 200 yards. This configuration will give me plenty of elevation adjustment after 1000 yards or beyond, although that's stretching the limits of the 308 round just a little bit. While we were at the 25 yard line zeroing the Reaper, my buddy Dave from Bly's Guns decided to sight in the Christensen Arms 338 Lapua. He put the beast on the lead sled since no one knew what to expect from the 8 pound rifle chambered for the massive 338 cartridge. As it turns out, the recoil is tamed considerably by the highly effective muzzle brake on the barrel. The Reaper is a great shooting rifle. I bought it with the expectation it would deliver one MOA accuracy with factory ammo out to 800 yards or so. I quickly realized that with Federal Gold Medal Match Ammo, the rifle was going to meet or exceed my expectations using 168 grain or 175 grain loads. At 100 yards, I could easily print 1 inch or smaller groups using the Federal 168 grain ammo. When I pushed the distance out to 200 yards, I was able to maintain 2 inch groups, or in this case, a little less. Such accuracy is good in my book when using factory ammo. With a little work I can probably find a pet hand load that will get the group size down to 3 quarter MOA or perhaps a little bit better. The Reaper comes with a fully adjustable Magpul PRS stock with adjustments for length of pull and cheek riser height. It also features a 1913 rail for the attachment of butt spikes such as this AccuShot folding spike. The rifle also features a left side charging handle which I like quite a bit. This is one of the key features of the rifles that was a selling point for me. 
It makes operating the rifle from the prone position much easier. The Magpul Soft pistol grip featured on the Reaper is very comfortable to my hand. But the handiest feature for me is the Ambi Bolt Release. Like the left hand charging handle, the Ambi Bolt Release makes operating the rifle a snap from the prone position and also with minimal movement. The self-regulating short stroke gas piston system is also adjustable making the Reaper suppressor friendly. Alright, so back to the Christensen Arms 338 Lapua. The rifle is beautifully made and capable of extreme accuracy. The stock is fully adjustable and the carbon fiber barrel makes for a very lightweight cannon. Despite the lightweight, the recoil really isn't as bad as you might think. We found that shooting the rifle was pleasant enough that you could do it all day long without causing any real discomfort. Shooting the Christensen Arms at 1000 yards is very easy to do, even off a sandbag rest with an unsupported stock. The ringer is 36 inches across, and you're seeing it through a 60 power spotting scope. As you can probably tell, it's taking the bullet nearly two seconds to get to the 1000 yard line. You have to admit, that's kind of cool. We didn't have a chance to shoot all the guns we brought out this afternoon, so we'll have to come back and do some more shooting on another weekend. I couldn't leave the range without putting some rounds down range through the little SRS covert though. This tack driver is a blast to shoot. Stay tuned for more information on this long range rifle. If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please swing by and check out the blog, The Bang Switch. I'll put a link down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.